This has been a cinematic production. This is your boy Kirk Franklin. I read the introduction of the book and um, you mentioned breaking generational curses and um, you talked about being a father. Yeah. So how are you breaking the generational curse as a father? How are you leading your son? By trying, try, by trying very hard to give them a blueprint, by uh, trying to equip them now so that they don't have to make the same mistakes later. Even, even though I realize that at some point in their lives they still have those, uh, those crossroads in life where they have to choose right, that right won't always just come automatically because all of us are faced uh, with the option to choose wrong or to choose right or to choose the quick way. And uh, hopefully I will have a... Uh, and investment into their lives so that when they're faced with those uh, those issues that uh, they will have a very clear manuscript uh, to look at to be able to see uh, this is the right way to do this. this is the right way to handle business this is what a man does this is what a man doesn't do this is what a father does this is what a man that says he's a Christian looks like uh, not just what he sounds like not just what he preaches but this is how it's walked out this is the blueprint for what that looks like can we talk a little bit about being gay and being um, saved in okay. the church? Well, I, I have, have come to believe being raised in a community of the arts. Uh, I have buried many friends. I have had many friends that I've uh, sat by their bedside uh, uh, as they died. I, 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 I was a teenager during the 80s, and so uh, I had a chance to live through a lot of the uh, uh, horrific times that, that that really hit the uh, gay and, and lesbian community. And and although I am uh, uh, committed uh, as a Christian to to what what I believe scripture says about all of our lifestyles, not just not just a homosexual lifestyle, but a a heterosexual lifestyle, a a lifestyle that uh, that 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 is in an adulterous relationship, a lifestyle that is a envious and jealous uh, lifestyle, a lifestyle of pride, a lifestyle of, uh, of, of ego, that, that we must be able, that if we're going to speak on particular issues in people's lifestyles, we must be able to also model lovingly what that looks like. Uh, how many young men uh, can be talked to and communicated with when the sermon is not behind a pulpit? when it's not homophobic, when it's not filled with, with, with evil and hatred or a certain bias because some things may be particularly nasty to you or something that, that, something that particularly disgusts an individual, but it's given the same amount of grace and the same amount of love, still wrapped in truth that is given to the, the organist who sleeps with all the choir. You know, it, uh, we, 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 we can be hypocritical in our approach and we must be loving in our approach. And we must be able to walk out with young men and women what, what a relationship looks like. And that's why I honestly believe that when you talk about uh, same-sex desires, that, that it must be something that cannot be necessarily part of the public square discussion because that will continue to polarize the issue because all we will continue to do is to argue and you'll never say anything good enough to satisfy that community. You'll never say anything good enough to satisfy this community. The, both communities always felt, well, you should have said more. You should have said more hatred. Or you should have said more love. And so it must be something that when the cameras are off and, and when the microphones are turned off that we model out uh, with our brothers and sisters that may be in same-sex desires, heart-to-heart and breast-to-breast. It must be something that must uh, be done behind the scenes that is a lifelong process. And we must be uh, bold and not afraid to grab the hands of people. Uh, if there is a young man who has questions about his lifestyle and, 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 and he may be struggling with it, if I'm not willing to allow him to come home, have dinner with me, see what a heterosexual man in a home with his children looks like so he can begin to maybe glean from that if he chooses. Then, then if, if, I'm, if I'm not willing to do that, then I need to be quiet. Really, I need to shut up and I, and I need to put my, my gospel on the shelf. Because if, if I'm not willing to model that out, then, that, then all I'm doing is preaching. And it's supposed to be action and love. Uh, uh, 
Christ said it so clearly that, that they will know you're my disciples by your love.